Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Pipe Dream Polish All In and High Roller. I'm going to start with Get a Grip from Vibrant Vinyls and a base color of Braves Diva Shutout. You know. And I'm so excited to be doing a water marble. And pardon my voice, I have that summer cold. They have sprayed all the cotton fields with the defoliant to make the leaves fall off so they can get to the cotton and it always gets me so pardon the hoarseness so there we go with our beautiful coat of Braves Diva shut out I'll be topping it with the Pro FX quick dry top coat get it to dry down so that I can do my water marble in so excited <laughs> bless you cotton see it's even getting cotton <laughs> cotton the cotton's getting cotton Alrighty, so we're all dried down, and I'm going to be using All In and this beautiful high roller from Pipe Green Polish. And I've got my cup of water, regular water, and i got all kind of little tools out here. I'm going to go in with a little bit of tape around part of my finger. Sorry, I'm out of frame. There we go. Just kind of over the tip end of it. That way my fingers don't stick together. And then I'm going to go in with the Protect Peel around part of my finger. As you can see, I've already gotten started. I've been playing. And here we go. We're going to get our bullseye going here. I'm going to do alternate drops of the blue and the green. I do like to run my tool around the cup to spread the polish all the way to the edge. I get a better circle that way. Kind of one of those nitpicky things. But these polishes, I'm sorry, are no longer available. They were, um, <laughs> back in the day, they were the ones that you, I promise, I stalked this website until I got my hands on them. It was crazy. And then they stopped making or stopped being able to get the pigment pigments for this. So these are no longer available. But you can still find good neons that water marble. So I'm going to draw in a flower design, flower petal, a four petal, and I'm going to try this swirly thing again, trying, trying, to, trying to get good at it. That's the only way we're going to get good at stuff is playing with it. Okay, so I'm not really liking that one. That did not turn out the way I want, so I'm going to turn the cup around and use the other side. I'm trying to get like a little M going, and I kind of got it on that one, so we're going to go ahead and use it. Dip down and get my other little tool out. This is one of those little gem tools that I got. And I'm just using it to get all that excess polish off of the water so I don't get it on my design. But, looky there, I smeared it. I bumped it with my stupid little tool. So, I'm going to show you all how I repair that in this video. So, I'm going to get this latex and tape off real quick. But I am going to just go on and finish up the rest of the nails before I fix that boo-boo. And it's not perfect, but I am going to show you how I'm going to make it less noticeable. It made me so mad that I did it. But, you know, I'm not going to take all that polish off and start from square one. Just not going to do it. So like I said, there are polishes. I've had some from China Glaze that did pretty well. They were from that collection that had the... Um, can I get an unce unce and uh, oh, I can't, can't even remember the names of them, but it was it was a neon collection from them. And then that all mixed up lacquer had a set of neons that worked real well. And let me think. Oh, there we go. Got the M that time. Nailed it. And I'm telling y'all, that little boogered up middle nail is making me mad. Ugh hate when I do that. So there we go. And there I've got another design ready to go. Let's try to get this drawing in. I will get this. I'm going to keep playing with it until I get it. Because Nail Artisan Loom, she, or Artisan Nail Loom, gosh, she does such a good job. Hers are just beautiful. Dipping in again. Oh, I forgot to take my latex off. Of that last finger. I can tell when I get to play and I just 
I'm like a little kid, man. I go hog all in it. So I'm going to go in with a Q-tip and get up some of this bigger stuff around my fingers and on the other side of my fingers. It's just easier that way. There we go. Okay, here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of acetone and my cleanup brush. And I am going to go around this other finger nail and clean it up just a little bit. It's not that much of a mess at all. And then let's see if we can get some of this blob off of here. So I've taken my acetone and I've blotted it on the paper towel and I'm just kind of brushing over. Got a little bit of the blob off so I don't have a bump. And now I'm going to go in with the brush and just kind of brush over this because I did remove some of that green. So I'm going to swipe it down. So it's a little better, not perfect. I am going to go in. What I've done here is I've taken a little bit of acetone and watered down the green with the acetone because when you water marble, it spreads the polish out and makes it thinner. So it's not as opaque looking on the nail. So that's why I dipped into the acetone. Got a little bit of that blue out here too, and I'm doing the same thing. It just kind of waters it down or acetones it down a little bit. So now I'm going to go in with my Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat and do a nice glossy top coat, capping my free edge here. So that should have been the end of that, but I wasn't real happy with it. So I'm going to use BPL050 Braves Diva on the black stamping polish and of course my Burt's Bees Cuticle Cream and my Pro FX Sticky Base Top Coat our base coat. It's a top coat right now because it's going on top of all this other stuff. But I decided I couldn't deal with the smudge. So here's another way you can cover up boo-boos. Stamp over it, don't you know. Got my monocle stamper and I'm using that beauty scraper today too. So I've picked a couple of images. The star one went on my ring nail and my thumbnail. And then I'm using another image on the other nails. That little kind of like heart water marble. Here, water marble over water marble. Let's do it. So, here we go. Gonna cover it in real good because those are some big fat lines there. Scrapes great. And here we go. We're gonna go in for the pickup. Get that mat out of my way. And then plop plop. And there we go. So, this is a really wild manicure. Very bright. I am cleaning that plate with pure acetone and a cotton ball, and I cleaned my stamper off on a lint roller, as usual. So there we go, got some cleanup going on. Now I'm going to go in for my last little bit of cleanup, and since I used the Burt's Bees, it's not too bad. So there you have it, sports fans. I am going to top it with the Smudge Free Top Coat from Maniology. After all this work on this manicure, I did not want to go ruining it with some smearing. So now that we've got that on and it's dry, I'm going to top it with Posh. And then this one will be to done. So there we go, another bright manicure. Here's my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. And that is it for today. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself.